Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can properly sort 2D objects inside of Godot so that the object you intend to stay in front visually actually stays in front. So here I've gone ahead and dropped four sprites onto the screen, and generally speaking we're going to want the object which is closest to the bottom of the screen to show in front for a typical 2D game. You might notice by default that when I move one in front of another object that they don't actually sort properly. So you can see that this yellow device is clearly above the red one in terms of its position on the screen. So regardless of where I position this red one and the blue one around the screen, the yellow one stays in front of it. So the reason for this is that by default when you drop your sprites or your objects uh, onto your root node like this, that whatever is on the bottom of the list is going to show on top of the other ones. So technically speaking, if all of your objects were static, you might be able to get away with just organizing them manually. So if you wanted the books to always show in front, you just leave that at the bottom of the stack. But if you wanted to rearrange it, you can drag it down. However, there is a much better way to do that, which is to use what's called a Y sort node. So if we right click on my world 2D node here and I add a child node, we can search for a Y sort. So you can see here for Y sort, it sorts all child nodes based on their Y positions. So rather than having to manually rearrange your objects, you can just drag everything you want to be sorted onto your Y sort node. So when we do that, the order of the list here no longer matters. Rather, the Y sort node is automatically going to figure out which one to display on top of each other. So you can see this red one is located at the bottom of the list, which previously would have shown on top, but clearly it's showing in the background now. But if I drag its location downwards, as soon as it passes over the center point of the other objects, then it's going to show on top, which is really handy. Now, there's still going to be a problem for us. And I can demonstrate that with these books over here. So if I take these books, and you can see that this is a smaller sprite, and I position it somewhere just above the bottom of the red cylinder sprite, then you'll see that the books actually show on top, which doesn't really make sense because the bottom of this post is showing below the books. So logically, you would look at that and you would think, oh, well, that should show in front of the books. So the reason why this occurs is that it's basing the positioning of this Y sort based on this center anchor point. So if I click on the books, you can see that this center point is still located below the position of the red cylinders. So another way of looking at this is that wherever the center point is, is kind of being considered the base position for where the Y sort is going to organize your objects. So for an object like this that goes vertical, like a column, it doesn't make a lot of sense to use the actual center of the sprite as the center point for the sorting, uh, because the base is going to be in the ground, and in three space everything else would be going vertically towards the ceiling. So what we need to do is to take our objects like this, and to change where the center point is and offset it. So when the Y sort is working, it's going to take the root nodes below it, and wherever the center cross is located is going to be the sorting point. So for a sprite that we've just dragged on here, we can just offset that cross by going to the offset and giving it a value. So something like negative eight is going to move that sorting point way down here to the bottom of the object. So now that the cross is at a different position, it's going to change the sorting order. So if I move the books in front here, you'll see that now the column stays in front, which in cases where the books are above the bottom of the sprite, makes sense, but in cases where it's actually below, doesn't once again. So in this case, I'd probably need to move the center point for the books as well. So I can make it something like negative four here, or maybe negative five, and then pull them down here just in front until the sorting actually looks correct. And then if I take the books a little bit behind, it's going to start sorting behind the center of the column. So by moving that cross, the sorting makes a lot more sense here. So for many objects that you're going to want to create for the game, you're probably not going to just have one node for them and drag them directly into the, but you're probably going to create a separate scene that you can instantiate that object from. So for instance, if I go here and I create a new 2D scene, then this node 2D 
is going to have its own position. And you see it's centered at 0, 0, 0 by default. And then we might add a sprite node onto the node TD. So if I go in here and search for a sprite, we could take an art object like the chair and put that into the texture. And now wherever this origin point is for this scene is going to be used as the Y sorting position. So if I go ahead and give this object a name and we save it as a scene. So I'll call it chair.tscn and save it. Then we can go back to the world and create an instance of that object. I'm just going to drag it onto the scene. So you can see the origin point located there in the center. And it would be used as the sorting point, but I accidentally dragged it as a child scene. So I'm going to put this in Y sort directly, moving it up there. And now it should start sorting. So wherever the origin point is, it's going to be where it gets used for Y sort. So in order to make this look right, we can offset the sprite once again. So in sprite here, inside of the chair scene, I'm going to go to offset and we can offset this by a number of pixels. So let's start with negative 20 here and maybe we go to negative 24. That looks about right. So we can hit control S to save. So now back on the world, the sprite position is going to be updated to where it should be. And the origin point is down here, but the sprite has been offset above. So now when we try to sort it by moving it in front or behind our objects, it's going to sort properly once again. So there is another way that you can also sort your objects. If you want something to guaranteed always be above something else, then you can use the Z index of a object. So if we left click on, let's say these books over here, and then we go to the Z index here and in the inspector, you'll see Z index as zero. That is what everything is gonna have by default. But if we give it a Z index of one, then it's always gonna show above anything that has a Z index of zero or lower because Z index is gonna trump the Y sort. So you see here, no matter where I position the books, it's always gonna show in front of the chair, whether it is above or below the origin point of the chair, also applies to any other objects in here. But if I make it a Z index of negative one, then it is gonna show below any other object that has a higher Z index. So one example of when you might do that could be if you had a inside scene and then there was a metal beam or wooden beam going across the scene and you always wanted it to show at the front of the camera. So anything behind it, like a player, an enemy or another sprite object uh, would be hidden from view. Then you could give that beam a Z index of one or higher to guarantee it's always going to show in front. But for most other cases for where you want your objects to sort based on their vertical position on the screen, then you can add your objects to a Y sort node. And as long as you adjust the display position of the sprite uh, with regards to the origin point of your object, then you should be okay and it should start displaying properly for you. So in a nutshell, that is how you sort your objects inside of Godot for 2D games. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something and I will see you guys in my future video content.